Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are taking on uh, the newest Supreme Magnificent Battle fight. So there is an Evolution Blue Vegeta and then a UI Goku. Uh, this run in particular, I wanted to do uh, showing one of the missions. So one of the missions is beating Stage 6, which is UI Goku, uh, with an extreme team that has all typings in it. So what logically made sense to me was running this Boo team because the Boo units just got a big buff. Uh, during golden week and the team is very good and we all know extreme str is like one of the toughest typings to get in i think the last video i did um where i had to use like the the full extreme team was i used um str hit um who he, he's a solid unit but definitely not like your ideal choice for difficult content right um so here though with the full boo team i mean they're so strong uh, i think some people forget about the str fat boo you see him there in slot three uh, but he's an orb changer and he's actually a newer EZA and he can kind of hold his own a little bit. So um, that's kind of what I opted to do with here. And then this way, you know, well, he's probably not your top choice for, uh, you know, a unit to run on a team. He fits the STR typing. He's new enough that he doesn't instantly die. He supports in that he orb changes um, and he synergizes well by linking well with these boo units. So you can see right here too, um, we took a lot of damage right away. I think we took 400k like immediately. Uh, of course, Int Boo is always so freaking annoying. I intentionally put him in slot one with the intent that either the boss doesn't super or like he supers and kills him and we get the revive. I can't tell you how many times the boss does like just enough damage to where like we barely live and don't get the revive. And then we have to like, <laughs> we have to like, you know, barely survive the turn. Um, but then the nice thing is, is these boo units can uh, heal really quick. And by the way, LR Super Boo, 21 mil shot. Like, I still like LR Super Boo. Like, he's definitely not bad. I think on this team, he actually works out pretty well. He does fulfill the AGL slot. That's why I'm using him here. But I don't know. I think AGL Boo is definitely like a capable unit. The thing is, is the, like the reason why people don't like him is he's not maybe defensive enough because he doesn't have like guard or damage reduction or any of that stuff. But if you, you know, he needs to get hit to build up as well. But if he gets hit enough early in a fight and fully builds up, I mean, he is like a raw 1 million defense unit. Um, so I think where this, you know, LR Super Boo is really usable in hard content is if any fight that has like, um, uh, like a STR boss. Because then if he's like a million defense, but then he's guarding because he's type advantage, I think he could be really good there. And he's kind of like LR Yamcha to me where, you know, he might not be the greatest defensive unit in the world, but he does a lot of damage, like a truck ton of damage. Um, and the thing is, it's not just that it's like a very casual, easy, like 20 mil attack stat. It's also AOE. So any tough fights with like multiple enemies, he does really well. And he's actually like... LR Super Boo is a ridiculous monster for Super Battle Road. So um, he's like the number one unit that I would bring in on like a Boo Saga or like a, um, any uh, any categories that like the Boo units are on. Like I would definitely run him, right? Like I'm like the Majin Power Super Battle Road or something. Like really good spots. Uh, artificial Life Forms. Actually, is he Artificial Life Form? I know like the Fat Boos are. I'm pretty sure they all are, but you know, you get the idea. Any category he works on, ridiculous, uh, hard-hitting AoE unit. I think, actually, he might be the hardest-hitting AoE unit in the game. I suppose LR, like the new LR Broly, I just discovered he's an AoE unit. I didn't realize that after transforming. So he probably does more damage, but I mean, I don't know how often I've seen in a, a 21 million AoE shot, right? Like That's pretty crazy. Um, by the way, that's what I expect LR Majin Vegeta to be hitting after Super Easy A, if not harder than that. Um, I am really looking forward to some Super Easy A's in the future. You know, Dokkan has yet to Super Easy in LR. I have a feeling they're going to make LR Super Easy A's really busted because the other Super Easy A's we've gotten have all been very, very good, like top tier. And the fact that they haven't done an LR yet just makes me wonder if they're like going to make them very special occasions. Um, I could see Worldwide Celebration being the first uh, Super Easy A LR. I think that would be really hype, actually. Um, but speaking of LR Majin Vegeta, there is like a video I've been kind of brainstorming. And you guys can let me know if you think you'd be interested in it. But I kind of want to do a video that's like the most 
or, or I want to say not not the most shafted, but maybe just the worst easy A's in Dokkan history in terms of units that just got terrible easy A's. Um, so I won't spoil some other units I'm thinking about, but that LR Majin Vegeta is one that comes to mind. Um, he wasn't like terrible on easy A, but he definitely wasn't like, you, you didn't get a good feeling <laughs> after his easy A. And he just had the really wonky like Trunks Bulma restrictions in his kit, which just didn't make sense. So yeah, I, I think they definitely need to fix him. The thing with LR Majin Vegeta while we're on that topic, which I know he has nothing to do with this Boo Saga run, but um, I you know, we have like a super relevant Bulma now. I would have to double check him if like Bulma Youth is excluded, but I think it's just any Bulma because yeah, STR Bulma is still, you know, going to be really good for a long time. Um, so she definitely can fulfill the Bulma. It's just a matter of figuring out how to get them on the same team in terms of categories and whatnot. Um, and then there's some okay Kid Trunkses out there. The problem is, is like the best Kid Trunks right now relies on you having a Goten or Krillin. So, <laughs> uh, but they'll definitely come out with more, right? There's so much coming out. So uh, it's all about timing. That's the other thing, you know, I brought up in a recent video that I could make a whole video on is just who are the most poorly timed easy a's right because there's been some easy a's that we've gotten that have been very good um but the their teams weren't ready for them yet and then by the time their teams were ready they kind of been phased out so like a, a prime example that i used in a previous video was uh casserole and pride troopers right um ridiculous like for a free-to-play unit back when they got their easy a they were dumping like seven mil attack stats like really good kit um supporting like crazy but universe 11 was absolute garbage trash right and now that universe 11 on jp is like in a legit runnable team um he's not good enough for the team like you can put him there as a fun filler unit and maybe get away with it but he's definitely not optimal like he would have been so that's just an example there have been some you know very poorly timed easy a's so maybe you can let me know in the comments you know, and by the way, we just took a 560k shot right there, uh, but we lived, and as we know with the Boo team, uh, you survive, you're going to pretty much full heal the next turn. Look at that. We actually had AGL Super Boo's active skill, and we just like instantly healed out of it. So that's the thing, like Boo units having an active skill wanting you to be under a threshold actually isn't good, because if you're running a proper Boo team, you're going to just instantly heal. So here I decide to Whis, like I don't want to play around, right? Um, with my luck, well, I had to Whis here because of Super Boo. Type disadvantage against this tech Goku, like, there's just no way. Um, you know, I could have gambled that maybe the Super would have come on either of the Boos and maybe we get the revive, just end the turn, but, uh, my luck has not been good with the Int Boos. Because what they'll do is they'll either get Supered right away, but then, like, not take enough damage. Because after Boo Supers, like, he's too defensive and then, like, takes double digits, so... Yeah, I've gotten into some really wonky situations with Int Boo, um, just trying to get his revive, and it just... It, he's actually been surprisingly one of the hardest revives for me to get in the game. Um, you would think, just put him slot one in hard content, let him die, but he, like, literally he gets supered, and he'll take, like, 560k, 580k, 600k even, but the team has a lot of HP and they can usually survive it, and then they, like, heal up the next turn. So I think, honestly, the ideal way is to run that um, Tech Evil Boo, have his effect go off where he, he survives a KO attack, and then you're at 1 HP. That's kind of, like, how they designed that to work, right? All right, so we're coming up to the end of Tech UI Goku here. We're going to go into Tech Super Boo. Uh, we've got uh, Boo Tanks ready to go, LR Boo Tanks, so I'm feeling pretty good um, that I don't need to use an item here. Um, with the damage reduction slot one, um, Buhan and slot two, like we're going to take them out, right? <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty good about that. And then bam, we got tech UI Goku out of here. So on to the next phase, which is AGL. This should be the last phase, by the way. Um, I did also beat the Trunks fight. I just didn't do a recording of it. Um, but I do have a couple more videos on... This, I got another video against this UI Goku and then Evolution Blue Vegeta. Um, I haven't done a lot of attempts with Dragon Ball Saga. I would like to get those done. Um, but I did, for fun, um, pick another team that I really like. So I have a couple of Universe 6 runs coming up. So we got Universe 6 beating UI Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta. So look forward to those coming up as well. And then, yeah, let me know if you want to see either like a... Um, 
maybe like a top 10 like most poorly timed EZAs or like a top 10 like worst EZAs. Which one of those sounds more interesting to you? Um, and I might make a video on it. I think top 10 videos definitely are a great way to get viewers uh, or get more views because that's not as common of a topic, right? There's actually like, um, uh, Truth actually just highlighted a YouTuber who does a bunch of top 10 videos. And then of course he went from like, he went from like 1.6K subs to over 5K subs, like within a week. He's probably even higher than that now. Uh, all it takes is Truth to shout you out and then your channel blows up. So uh, we got to get Truth over here onto my channel. <laughs> I've actually, ho I, I don't know, like for those of you watching, how many of you know this, but um, I used to host the Dokkan Battle podcast on 5.9 Gaming. 5.9 Gaming basically has fizzled out. Like they still do stuff, but not like what they used to. And it's just like one or two guys posting stuff. But it used to be a big collaboration, like, you know, Garash, Truth, Sunblade, Toon Rami, like all kinds of people were on there. And then I did the podcast with a, a bunch of people, but primarily was Minato and Ningen, who now they started their own podcast and they're kind of doing their own thing. Um, but I hosted quite a few. I mean, I... God, I was doing the Dokkan podcast, I want to say for at least a year and a half, maybe even two years. Um, but I did host a couple episodes with Truth, so I've actually interacted with him a little bit. He probably doesn't remember me, but um, yeah, so it, it's just fun. It, it's all fun. It's all good. Um, and once again, I'm just doing this for fun. So uh, it's, uh, I, I, and I'm just looking for some good video ideas. So I'm like, all right, if this other guy can make <laughs> make a lot of views, do a top 10 videos. And I've done a few in my day for sure. And they have done well. He just like his channel exclusively. I think he just comes up with all kinds of top 10. So I was brainstorming some ideas for some. So yeah, you guys let me know what you think. But anyways, there we go. UI Goku taken down. Once again, this was a mission clearing run. We had all the typings in there. So I think Boo Saga, the two most obvious, if you're looking for getting the extreme mission done, I would say you're either looking at kind of like the super bosses type of team right with like broly and then maybe like goku blacks and stuff like that or you're doing like the boo team um i think those are the two most logical options so let me know what you guys did for this mission let me know what you think about maybe some of those video ideas i, I threw out there uh thanks for watching we'll catch y'all on the next one